Hi, I'm Nancy from the Muse Knoxville, and today we're going to talk about what makes a parachute work. You've seen people jump out of planes with a parachute, right? And they come down and they glide down to the ground. Well, why does that work? Parachutes work because of the air around us. Now, we don't generally think that air is pushing back on us, but air is made up of matter. So when you are walking and you move your hands, you're pushing air out of the way and air is pushing back on you. So think about this. When you ride your bike and you go really fast, can you feel it then? You feel the air? How about when you stick your hand out of a car window? You can feel the air really hit your hand. Um, what about other ways? One easy way is to think about fanning yourself. If you fan yourself, you can feel, feel the air right against you, right? So we all agree, air is made of matter and air pushes back. So what pushes down on us? Well, gravity is pulling down on us all the time. So it's that combination of trying to get more air pushing up than gravity is pulling down. We can't stop it, but we can make it slower with a parachute. So I've made this parachute with string and a coffee filter, and I've just tied four strings onto the onto our little astronaut here at the bottom. And so it works because I'm increasing the area, right? He's a little tiny person, he would fall straight down. But when you increase the area, more air is able to get under here and push back on us. So it slows gravity down. I think you can try this at home. You can make one with a coffee filter and string, yarn. I've tried it with a scarf. Scarfs are square, coffee filters are round. Try different shapes, try different objects. The heavier the object, the bigger the space needs to be. That's why parachutes are so big compared to people. I'm gonna try our little guy here and see how if he makes a glide or if he falls straight down. You ready? Let's see if we can make him work. Definitely glides.